She wants you to lick her butthole. Analingus. Please let me be that person. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to today's fucking dating game extraordinaire. I mean, it's flawless. Today I'm going for the um, the little sister ending, immortal ending, because, you know, it's a dating sim. What kind of a dating sim would it be if we can't fuck our best friend's sister? Am I right or am I right? Yeah, I thought I was right. Plus, you know, we've already assaulted our little sister in a previous game. Uh, Pudin to Ohoro, I believe. Flashback. You dirty bitch! <laughs> so I got to this part of the game with um, the shiny thing behind the garbage can, and I keep making the Sharice joke, but then this happened, right? Blah blah blah. Should I take it? That would be stealing. Unless no one is claiming it after two playthroughs of this game. <gasps> dun dun dun! So, <laughs> I'm assuming that this isn't the only thing that changes after you do so many playthroughs. I haven't gone past this part yet. Because I, I wanted it to be a surprise for all of us at the same time. Plus, I'm not very good at faking reactions. So, I don't know if there's going to be an end in here. Or I don't know what's going to happen. Let's just fucking do it. Heck, I'll take it. I don't care. I took the binoculars. Besides this, I guess there's nothing else to see. I'll head back to the classroom. Really? I, saw, I thought something exciting was going to happen. I was about to step inside our classroom when I heard a soft voice coming from the girl behind me. Excuse me. I turned around to face the inquiring person. As soon as our eyes met, my entire body froze. Oh, to you. You see, I'm looking for someone. Oh, we've seen this. Oh, I so thought something new was going to happen. Oh, and then the fan comes. Okay, well, we'll just skip this shit. I'm thinking maybe the binoculars... I don't know, I'm thinking maybe we've just leveled up our stalking abilities for the next playthrough, maybe? I don't know. But, um... Corridor with the teacher's lounge is... Uh, I can't remember which one we did to get the Sharice ending. I don't want to do the same one. We'll go back to the classroom. I highly doubt we're going to get the little sister ending, but whatever. It's fine. I'm sure we'll get a different one. I'll get the fucking little sister ending, don't you worry, guys. I still can't find Reese. By now, I'm sure she's already left the school and went home. Sigh. I passed on Shami's PX free game, and I didn't get to find Reese. Grunt. <laughs> this is stupid. I wasted my time for nothing. Awkward moment. I'll just go home. Oh, don't even get a shit ending, Monica. On my way to the entrance of school, I saw a girl sitting on the ground. <gasps> we're going to get an ending. Yes, we're going to get an actual ending. And she sounds like she's talking to someone, but I don't see anyone with her. She's talking to... Oh, look at it. <gasps> oh, no, wait. How do I get rid of this? I've totally forgotten. No, that's not how you do it. <gasps> oh, look at the little kitty. Little Neko. Hey, look at the blue eyes. Oh, they match. <gasps> Oh, it's Iris's friend. Are we going to bang the director's friend? Oh, it's Mikado, one of Iris's friends. <clears throat> but why is she talking to a kitten? Why not? It's a kitten. They're cute. I'm only doing the best I can, kitty. Why do I always turn out to be the wrong person? Oh, Awkward moment. I just want everything to be smooth and convenient for everyone. But every time, there are things that need to be done. They're somehow expecting other people to do it. And by other people, they always mean they want Mikado to do it. Just, just once, Kitty. I want to see another person making effort. <laughs> making effort? <laughs> to make me happy. You mean making an effort? I walk close to her. Hey, Mikado. Uh, hello there. The kitten suddenly ran away. Oh, no. Girl, we could have lived happily together. Me, you, and the kitten. I'm sorry. I have to be honest. I kind of overheard you talking. <gasps> uh, oh. I was just talking to myself. Don't mind a word I said. Awkward moment. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm okay. Don't worry about it. See, there's the problem. Pardon me? Pardonnez-moi? When a person offers to do something for you, you get embarrassed and decline the offer. How will other people offer you something if you tell them you don't want it in the first place? <gasps> the penny drops. I'm guessing you got used to doing the dirty jobs all the time. You focus on other people's convenience and happiness so much that you're starting to spoil them. 
that every time they're with you, they think they have a personal maid ready to catch their butts. <laughs> oh, look, and she looks heartbroken. I don't blame you for it, though. I can see why. There are many reasons for you to act like that. You don't want to owe others for doing you a favour. Or you find the performance of another person uns <laughs> unsatisfying. Really? Are you not satisfied, Mikado? We can satisfy you. Or you want things to be done in a simple, swift and quick manner since relying on others makes everything complicated. Or you just want to be independent and do everything on your own. Heck, I can give you hundreds of other reasons anytime. I'm sorry, but not all of what you said applies to me. It doesn't matter. The point is, you have to let them do things for you too. Not everyone is incapable of doing what you can do. They're not illiterate. <laughs> you don't have to catch everything. Let them have some of the dirty jobs. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid either. Trust them. Trust me. Trust them that they can do it too. Just like you. Awkward moment. <laughs> if you want others to make you happy, let them know that. Or else, nothing will happen. Awkward moment. More awkward silence. How come you know about this sort of thing? I was once like you until I snapped one day and made a total havoc. Really? You snapped? How did you snap, CL? You are a man-child who has done nothing with his life but wear a paper mache ring and fawn over a girl who obviously doesn't want you. And now I'm living alone in an apartment thanks to the trouble I caused. You don't live with your parents and you're in high school? Really? How old are you? I don't want any of those terrible things to happen to you too. So I'll ask you one more time. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, she's smiling. Thank you. Arigato. You might not know how or why, but what you said made me feel relieved. You're welcome. Doitashimashite. But before I leave, let me just ask you this for the third time. <clears throat> huh? Is there anything I can do for you? Oh. Come on, let me do you a favor, girl. Just for once, I'm feeling generous today. CL, you are a smooth mover. <laughs> well, it's not necessary. So what will it be? Help you with your homework? Carry something heavy? Spit shine your shoes? Anything you ask? <gasps> Anything? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Besides, you said it yourself. You want to experience another person doing something <laughs> to make you happy. She wants you to lick her butthole. That's what she's going to ask you for. Analingus. Please let me be that person. <laughs> I, I don't know why I should trust you, but... Could you promise not to tell anyone? <laughs> sure. Well... She reaches for something inside her bag and pulls it out. Oh my god, what is it? Is that a headband with cat ears? I've always wondered how a guy will look wearing this. What? Yeah? Let's see then. Shuffle, shuffle. Are you serious? Are you serious though? <laughs> like this? Eee! Uh, what? So cute! So kawaii! Are you being serious? Blood flushes through my cheeks. It's not an everyday thing to hear a girl calling me that. But of course, it's the cat ears she's referring to, not me. This is cute. Of course. Look. She gets another headband with cat ears from her bag. Well, what do you know? She actually has a pair of them. Shuffle, shuffle. Oh my god, that is so kawaii. See? It's adorable, right? Oh my god, are we gonna make sweet, sweet kitty love? <laughs> hmm, I guess so. But I can't really tell. Even without it, you're still cute, you know. Oh, you. Shucks. Hey, I remember seeing this from a video on the internet. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it goes like this. I raised my arms and swayed my hips. What the fuck? Ah, I know that dance. I think it's called Caramel something. I forgot the title. It was all over the internet before. <laughs> Let me try that too. She dances as well, just like in the video. Giggle, giggle. Oh my goodness, excuse me, I I can't help myself but laugh. <laughs> Before I knew it, 
my lips are smiling too, but not because of the cute dance. It's because I find it really nice to see a person getting happy authentically, not out of politeness. It's quite a rare view if you ask me. You look better with a smile on your face. Giggle. Aww. Thank you. Arigato, motherfucker. You're welcome. <laughs> now, to make sure you won't tell anyone, oh my god, what's she gonna do? Oh, she's gonna kill us. She's Yandere. All of a sudden, she grabbed my arm and pulled me in her direction. What? Oh, no. <laughs> she's got evidence! Evidence! Okay, well... That was not the ending I was hoping for. <laughs> I wanted the little sister ending, and I was kind of hoping that maybe we could get naked. I mean, we could leave the cat ears on, girl. We could. Damn it. All right, well, that was a kind of a cute ending, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, yep, that, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, let me know that you enjoyed it, and I'll keep making more of these. Although I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go for all of the endings because someone told me there was an S&M ending, and I want it, I fucking want it. I want it so bad. <laughs> and I don't know why. I'm not into s &M, but I kind of want to see it. Yes, I do. Oh, God. Yep, share, sure like, subscribe, and guys. Share, sure like, favorite, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Okay? I love you. Bye. Let me hit you. Let me molest you in the back. Dad said it was okay. Dad said he does it all the time. Let me buy you things, girl. Let me buy you things. A bonsai tree. Shit, yes. I want a bonsai tree. God, you are so racist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Have some rice balls and shut your fucking mouth. <laughs>